Um, good afternoon once again. This is Jason Haynes back with you to discuss the official placing and cuts of the Western Pleasure class today. Um, when analyzing this class, the key factors to me were overall consistency of performance, balance, and movement. Um, and for that reason, I score the class 1, 4, 2, and 3 with cuts of 1, 3, and 5. I started the class with one, the Palomino horse, as it was the most consistent performer from start to finish. This was a very nice horse. It didn't do one thing outstanding, but what it did do was a series of transitions and gates at a high level. It was very smooth in its performance. It was very attentive to the rider. It performed well on a draped rein. It was very framed at all gates. Um, this horse showed the best distinction in the transition from the normal jog to the extended jog. Um, when asked to lope, it really rounded up its spine really well. Um, it drove from the hock underneath. It had a lot of natural lift to the lope. Um, if I had to criticize this horse, even though it was very consistent with its headset, um, it was a little bit low in its headset. And I would like to see this horse slow its front end down at the normal jog. And I would like to have seen this horse be a little flatter up front at the lope. But overall, um, the high level of consistency from start to finish um, allowed this horse to be placed first today. Um, the second place horse was for the really pretty chestnut. It was a big, strong, stout horse. It was well framed at all gates. Uh, it was very consistent with its headset. Um, it was a soft square jog, gorgeous loper, probably the prettiest loper in the class. When the rider asked him to lope, he really stuck that hawk and drove up well underneath. It was very flat up front. Um, this horse um, was very consistent from start to finish. Um, in my opinion, where this horse lost the class was in the distinction from the normal jog to the extended jog. Um, but that's pretty much it between um, the Palomino and, and this chestnut horse, which is why the low point cut of only one. Um, moving to our bottom pair, um, two, the bay over three, the really pretty deep chestnut with the two rear socks. The bay horse was very well framed. It was very consistent with its headset. Um, it was consistent with its speed throughout the class. Um, it was very pleasurable to ride. Um, but this horse um, had a pretty uninspiring way of going. It was very uncollected at the jog, um, at the lope. It left its hocks out behind. It was very choppy and short up front. Um, I didn't think it showed a lot of collection and distinction when moving from the normal jog to the extended jog. It just kind of pattered around. Um, but it was very broke. It was a very consistent performer. Um, it was very consistent with how it packed its head. Um, I thought the horse's tail was up a little bit at the walk. I would really like to see that horse pack that tail better. Um, but overall, I mean, it was a pleasurable horse to ride and it just lacked the overall quality of movement and consistent in performance as the top pair. Um, the bottom place horse was number um, three, um, even though I thought it was the prettiest horse in the class. Um, and it was a very good mover. Um, it was very good hocked. It was very collected. It was very square and framed at, at all gates, walk, jog, and lope. However, this horse was um, harder to ride. It didn't give the best performance today. Um, it gave its rider more problems. The, the exhibitor was having to help this horse along. He was, she was having to check its face. This horse um, got behind the vertical, uh, especially the second way. Um, it was wringing its tail a little bit, and it was just kind of inconsistent with its headset um, because it was fighting the rider a little bit with its um, way of going and performance. It was a very square, framed, strong, pretty horse that had good movement, um, a lot better mover than the bay horse, but it just wasn't as pleasurable to ride. It was more inconsistent with its head and its way of going and 
due to the fact that it wasn't as attentive to the cues of the rider, it has to stay at the bottom of the class today. So again, the official placing is one, four, two, and three for the Western Pleasure class with cuts of one, three, and five.